Don here from The Kiosk Presents here in Buffalo in Western New York. Listen, we got a very interesting author with us. It's Eric Mosley. He's co-founder and CEO of Global Force, if I said that right, and author of the Crowdsource Performance Review. Uh, Eric, welcome to The Kiosk Presents here in Buffalo. Great to be here. Thanks, Don. Listen, this is intriguing. Now, I'm going to tell the viewers right now, have you ever sat through an annual review, a performance review at work? And I have to admit, it's got to be as uncomfortable sometimes for the manager performing the review as the employee being reviewed. So, help us out here. How, is the annual review something that's on its way out to the crowdsource performance review? Uh, well, I think the first thing to say is that the, the annual performance review has many kind of structural problems, real problems with this as a process. You know, the main problem is that it's down to, you know, one person's opinion, a single point of failure, that manager who's going to make a judgment about your performance without a lot of memory for the last year because it's such a long period of time since you last had a review. And that judgment is going to stick with you probably for your career, certainly uh, with that company. So it has a lot of problems, infrequent, you know, once a year, and a single point of failure, that manager. Crowdsourcing can help fix some of those problems because it, it's constant, it's a daily occurrence, and then also it um, brings more voices to the table, more people's opinions, and that can round out that single point of failure of the manager. Eric, do you think sometimes the, the management will do in a performance review will strictly bring up the negatives perhaps um, to counter the employee's um, contention they deserve more money and they're after the review I, I, absolutely and of course what you always have to remember is that managers fall everywhere on the performance curve themselves you know some are great great managers some are very good managers and then of course down at the bottom end you have some poor managers and that's why there's a lot of mistrust in the process because what if you have a poor manager? Uh, you could get a bad review, uh, that can affect salary increases and promotion opportunities in the future. Um, and also the review can be just wholly concentrated on negative, cons what they might call constructive feedback, um, which you can leave pretty deflated. You can leave your review pretty deflated and it can set you up for a period of lesser performance because you, you, know, you feel disillusioned after that process. Well, I'm still, I'm still grasping this because it's a, sort of a new concept to me. Uh, well, it's a new concept to a lot of people. That's why they've got to read this great book. But, and I will, uh, but I haven't had a chance to read it yet. But here's the thing. I'm still trying to grasp crowdsourced performance review. How does it work compared to um, that once a year kind of thing? Is, it, is this something where the employer will sit down and review on a more frequent basis? Or how is it exactly done? Well, give me an example of a, a crowdsource review. Well, in general, um, most companies are moving towards um, different processes that are more social, you know, that are more community generated. And one such process would be recognition programs. So recognition programs allow peers to nominate their colleagues whenever they see them do great performance or above and beyond the call of duty type contribution. And so these recognition programs be can become very vibrant in a company. They can spread a lot of goodwill, a lot of positivity in the company. And then, of course, you now have a catalogue of what the employees have said is great performance, um, building up data constantly through the year. So a more crowdsourced performance review just takes the normal review process and then takes the data from a recognition program about that person. So who, who recognized them in the year? What did they recognize them for? What was their positive contribution? And by the end of the year, you'll have built up a narrative, a kind of a, a talk track of different stories about all the times that somebody helped a colleague or went above and beyond the call of duty and contributed to the company's you know, uh, better performance. So it sort of creates an environment of, there's a, a building of consensus as to how a person's performed throughout the year versus, again, maybe just one specific uh, event kind of thing. Well, you know, what happens, you know, these days, the business in general changes and evolves on a, a monthly, weekly, daily basis. Any process that takes a year to come back around is just way too, too long for the way business changes today. It changes at the speed of the internet. And so you need a constant pulse, a constant narrative. 
and recognition programs, especially social recognition programs, where everybody's involved, they contribute just a lot of positivity and data around performance. And you take those two things, you marry them together, and you get a more holistic view, a, a broader, more detailed, more real, more true view of a person's contribution. And, and I know the companies are always looking for ways to create community, create more of a team effort, um, have the um, more experienced employees uh, uplifting the less experienced employees, and that's, this is all part of it, isn't it? That's exactly it, because you find in environments like this that teams are more cohesive. They, they, it creates much more uh, team-oriented uh, work practices. People just work better together. And they're happier. Ama you know, it's an amazing concept, but happiness in work is actually critical to performance. So what if our, our managers, our business leaders, focused a little bit more on happiness and positivity rather than negativity? Uh, you would find that in those new environments, they'd have more energy and people are freer to be more creative. And it's just a better place to work. You know, Eric, in this, in this um, challenging job market environment that we find ourselves in the last few years, this sounds like a very good thing for management and employees, too. Uh, so I, I, I see it's a very po Listen, and I think that's a good note to say, I think whether you're an employee or a manager, the crowdsource performance review is something you really need to, to buy and take a good look at. And you, you'd agree that's a good closing for our, our, for our uh, interview, wouldn't you, Eric? Absolutely. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, well, thank you so much for joining us here uh, on the Kiosk Presents in Buffalo and wish you the best success. Come on, we want to see him on the New York Times bestsellers list, everybody. All right, thank you again, Eric. <laughs> thank you, thank you.